In this video, lead developer Anastasia Flynn shares with us the benefits of Next.js. Next.js is an enterprise-ready JavaScript framework used by brands with huge traffic volume like Netflix and Hulu. It provides flexible delivery models like Jamstack-friendly static site generation and server-side rendering capabilities that we're used to, and even hybrid models. Next also has out-of-the-box support for features that are currently supplied as part of the JSS React sample app, which means that JSS React implementations can be simplified and maintenance overhead reduced. For example, Next comes with internationalization support, state management, script bundling, and even its own server, which means that the server folder with scripts for a local development and the configuration for SSR proxy are no longer needed. Plus, there's out-of-the-box support for commonly implemented or helpful functionality like component-level performance metrics reporting, TypeScript support, component-level CSS definition, environment variable management, image optimization, including on-the-fly optimization, auto-resizing based on viewport size, and lazy loading that makes sure the layout does not jump. Simply put, Next.js is pretty awesome. To support Next in JSS, we're adding two NPM packages, a core package that needs to be imported by implementations and a new sample app. These will support existing JSS and Sitecore features, including disconnected and connected developer workflows, SSR, personalization and analytics tracking, and inline content editing and preview with experience editor. In case anyone is new to static generation, this is the practice of reducing or eliminating the need to process app rendering code at the time when the end user interacts with the page, which is achieved by pre-rendering server responses ahead of time. The benefits are the same as what I covered in the Jamstack slides. What makes Next a super framework, as I called it, is that it breaks through the limitations of Jamstack with its support for hybrid rendering delivery. Next supports both forms of pre-rendering, server-side rendering, and static generation, where it adds an incremental regeneration capability. The type of delivery can be controlled at the page and sometimes the component level. This means that you can use pure Jamstack alongside traditional SSR to create the most optimal app that doesn't have any limitations, which is perfect for complex enterprise use cases. Four special functions are utilized to tell Next which code is okay to pre-render. Get server-side props, get initial props, get static props, and get static paths. Next automatically determines that a page is static and can be pre-rendered if it has request time dependencies. This determination is made by the absence of SSR functions. Get server-side props and get initial props. If you export an async function called get server-side props from a page, Next will pre-render this page on each request using the data returned by get server-side props. If you export an async function called get static paths from a page that uses dynamic routes, Next will statically pre-render all the paths specified by get static paths. Get static paths only runs at build time on server side. You should use get static paths if you're statically pre-rendering pages that use dynamic routes. Think of dynamic routes as wildcard routes. For example, you might have a URL to products where the last segment of the URL is the product ID. Next, we just need one dynamic path defined to support this scenario. If you export an async function called getStaticProps from a page, Next will pre-render this page at build time using the props returned by getStaticProps. GetStaticProps should be used if the data required to render the page doesn't change based on user, like in the products example. The result can be cached by CDN for performance and SEO. With GetStaticProps, you don't have to stop relying on dynamic content when we're talking about static generation. A static content can also be dynamic. Now, this is the extra cool thing that Next adds above and beyond the typical Jamstack implementation. Incremental static regeneration. This allows you to update existing pages by re-rendering them in the background as traffic comes in. In this example, the page will be regenerated when a request comes in, but no more than once every five seconds. You don't have to rebuild and redeploy your entire app every time a small change is made. 
This allows us to scale our static content. Unlike traditional server-side rendering, incremental static regeneration ensures you retain the benefits of static. That's it for me.